Hey guys, it's your girl. Okay guys, before you say anything, my room is hella messy because I'm in my uni room at the moment and I'm like clearing stuff out because my lease is ending this week so I have to clear everything out of my room so if it does look messy this is not usually how my room looks like like it is usually tidy it's just I'm clearing stuff out anyway today as I'm leaving uni I thought I would do a video on uni hacks slash uni like tips to help you guys get through uni to like give you some tips on what I learned through my experience of uni and yeah for all you freshers who I'm so envious of because I'm literally a wannabe fresher. Like, it is unreal how much of a fresher I want to be. Let's get on with the video. So, uni hack slash tip number one. Do not give up on uni on your first month. Okay, because when you go to uni, obviously, it's like a completely different culture. It is completely new. Like, I remember going to uni and literally being like oh, why am i going here like this is not what i want to do but give it a go because honestly you will not regret it i started to enjoy uni within the third term i'm not saying the other times i didn't enjoy uni but this is when i found my friendship group as some of you guys may know from my first ever video on uni i hated uni i literally was like oh my gosh i do not want to be here and it got to christmas time and i sat down with my dad and i was like crying i was like dad please don't make me go back up there and he was like listen sasha you are going to love uni you just need to give it a go and yeah i gave it a go and honestly it was the best piece of advice my dad could have ever given me and this is the advice i'm planting onto you guys because honestly do not give up on uni within like the first term because it is the best three years of your life you will have so much freedom that you will not have in any other part of your life like it is crazy mad okay second piece of advice i am going to give you lot if you are going to uni my second piece of advice would be to join a society join a social this is so 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 key for uni Obviously, if you're not about the drinking life, if you're not about socialising that much, you just want to get your head down, keep quiet, then cool, do that by all means. But if you are one of them people that wants to be in the crowd, wants to go out all the time drinking, blah, blah, like socialise more, then join a social or a society. Even if it's a Harry Potter society, a Disney society, a Lego society, if they have that at your uni, sports societies, like rugby cheerleading dance football any of them join it i joined cheerleading and it was like obviously i don't know even why i joined cheerleading because i can't even cartwheel the most i can do is a roly-poly and that is about it the girls and friendships i have made by joining a society honestly i can't even there is a massive sports holiday in east star which is called tour and this is intertwining with my third piece of advice like go to tour if you are on a society or sports team because tour is like a massive drink up like a massive piss up for a week and if you're about that then honestly go because it is the best time of my life like <laughs> i'm so sad it got cancelled this year because of corona but honestly i am going next year i don't care but yeah that is my advice join a society because honestly Wednesday nights, I live for my Wednesday nights. Wednesday nights is literally about going to the bars, having socials with your girls, which are like playing games, playing drinking games, getting to know your girls more, getting to know other socials. And by the end, guarantee by the end of like your first year, you will walk into a club and you will know basically everyone there because they're all part of a sports team. And you are just all like one big family and one big crowd. And I love it. Like, that is why I love joining a sports team because I like being not so much known but I like having loads of friends and being really sociable. Wednesday night isn't about getting dressed up all glamorous, it is about making yourself look like an absolute idiot. Like most of our social themes are not glamorous. We've had like a couple but they're like builders, sailors, pirates hippies like all stuff like that i don't even remember looking nice for a wednesday night like i literally don't even remember looking cute but yeah that is my main piece of advice like if you want to be sociable if you want to know loads of people join a sports team 
that is all I can say. Join a sports team. Next piece of advice I would say, okay, friendships. This is obviously key within uni because you don't want to be friendless. But oh, I cannot stress this enough. You probably will not find your friends, well, I mean, this is speaking from my experience, maybe it's different for other people, but you will not find your friends instantly. In freshers, you may be friends with people and you may think you're gonna be besties with them forever, but I'm not gonna lie, I thought I was gonna be besties with some people in freshers and I literally don't even talk to them now. And also, some people can be quite, like, you think everyone would wanna be friends with you or you think everyone wants to be friends. Some people in, the halls that I was staying in were really rude and just not friends. See what people are around and what like they're about because you aren't just gonna see people in your halls, you're gonna see people in your course, you're gonna see people around, you're gonna see people around the campus, you're gonna see people on a night out. There are so many opportunities where you can make friends. So just making friends with the people in your room or like your dormitory or just that section block is like, <laughs> I'm so glad I'm, I mean, to anyone who's watching this, I'm really sorry, but I'm so glad I'm not friends with the people that I was friends with in Freshers because <laughs> I would have had a complete different experience. Like, don't get me wrong, there are some people, like I have a friend called Tom, who I've been friends with since literally the first night of Freshers, and he is one of my best friends, but he is like one of the only friends that I actually wanted to keep in touch with from Freshers. <sighs> this is so mean to say, but just look around, see who's out there, don't focus on one friendship group, and don't stress about not finding friends straight away, because I did not find friends straight away. I was hanging around with a group of like 12, and I think within that group of 12, I was genuinely friends with about two people from there. The rest, I was like, no. Like, I do not want to be friends with these people. And until I met my cheer girls, I honestly did not have a good group of friends. That is me being completely honest and just maybe my experience, but I know a lot of people felt the same. Fifth tip, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say. <clears throat> I'ma throw it out there. Don't get a uni boy. I'm gonna just throw it out there. This is so weird because most of my girls in my house have actually found a uni boy and they're really sweet. So hats off to you girls that have found a really nice uni boy. But from my experience at university, I have not had any good experience with any boy at uni and I think that's just because uni boys are just, they just want to be players and they just want to get with every girl. So if any uni boy is watching this, um, I'm sorry, but you're not good. <laughs> like, obviously people are going to get into relationships at uni, it is like adamant that people are going to get into relationships because I mean, if you see how many boys there are, it's so easy to get into a relationship at uni because you're literally across the halls from them. So you can just come back from a night out or like even if you don't live with them, you just go home with them from a night out and that's how it basically sparks. <laughs> So, yeah, that's just my piece of advice. I mean, I'm pretty sure I stated this in my last video as well. Like, don't go for uni boys. Moving on from that one. So, tip number six, I think we're on. I would say tip number six, go to your lectures. Like, this is so, so generic, but go to your lectures because you literally have, like, they're actually really fun. I'm... <laughs> what? So, it's really weird because I live with four other girls Two of the girls did geography, two of the girls did media, so uh, that was like such a bonus for me because I did media and geography. Go to your lectures because they are actually so beneficial, like I know I'm trying to promote lectures or whatever. You can get so much support from your tutors and also your tutors start to know you as well, so if you go to your lectures they're going to start recognising your face and then when you want help they're actually going to start helping you. Like these lectures actually teach you like adults, they talk to you like adults, they want to help you like adults. They actually are there to help you, so if you are respectful and you help them and you go to their lectures, they're gonna help you back. And that is just that. Tip number seven. I'm gonna actually say this now, and this is coming from me, this is so ironic coming from me, but I would actually say, if you're going to uni, I would say you do need some basic like life skills, like basic, like cooking, washing, laundry, any of that. Just learn, because 
coming from me, this is literally coming from me, in first year, I was so bad. I didn't know how to use a washing machine, I didn't know how to make my bed, like put on the duvets, I didn't know how to wash up, I didn't know how to cook, I didn't know how to do basic things like ironing, anything like that. I did not know. And this is also really ironic because in third year, so I used to go home like maybe every month, and my dad would give me 60 freezer foods which he had cooked himself just so I could put them in the microwave and then that would be my cooking and that would be my meals. I was getting the nutrients and stuff I needed but only because my dad cooked it for me. I actually became so unfit at uni. I piled on so much weight because I didn't know how to cook. I was eating like obviously the standard pot noodles, cheese toasties, like eggs on toast, like anything like that, just the basic essentials. All the healthy stuff I was not eating at all because I didn't know how to cook it. So if you know how to cook, that is such a good starting point because then you know how to cook some meals, like even an omelette. I didn't know how to cook an omelette. I didn't even know how to cook a boiled egg or boil a boiled egg. That, that is how bad I was. Learn the basics, it will help you through life. Tip number eight. Before you start university, they will tell you that you need so many books. I'm a just screw with the system here and say that you don't. I went for uni not going for a single book. This is because your university should provide you with a library resource website that should have every book that you ever need on there. And let me tell you something, they give you a list, a list of like six, seven books to buy each, like 70 pounds each. I guess if you really do need to buy books, like if you're on a course maybe for primary education or criminology or something like that then yeah but geography and media they told you to get books and I just didn't get them because I was like I'm not paying 70 pounds for books and all the books that they suggested was on my Nile website and my library website and also Google Scholar that's what I did and that's how I managed to get all my resources and everything that I needed so if they tell you you need books I'm just gonna say now you don't number nine this is also really vital so you will make friends up at uni that is literally adamant you will make friends you'll become besties with them you're living with them like how are you not going to become besties with them but make sure you also balance your friends at home because some of your friends at home may not have gone to uni some of your friends have got a job so when you come home make sure you do actually spend time with them make sure you talk about topics that they want to talk about not just all about uni like ask them how they are ask them what they're doing at their job how they're finding it when you're at uni it is very difficult to try and talk to your friends back home well it's not but you're busy, you're doing your dissertation, you're doing other work, you're like going out for nights out, you're hungover, you're trying to make other friends. It is just a whole lot of shebang, a whole lot of meh up in here. I still talk to all my friends at home and we're still really good friends. So like when I go home, I can obviously see them. And to be fair, some of them did go to uni, so I can talk about uni with them. But the friends that didn't go to uni, like I obviously, if they ask about it, I talk about it, but I just won't talk about it as much. Guarantee you'll still have your friends at uni and you'll still have your friends at home. So keep a good balance. Tip number 11. Most of you don't have to do this, but I would say, budget your money well. This is incredibly vital because in first and second year it's gonna be, well, actually your whole uni life it's gonna be a very big struggle. I was kind of blessed because I got the highest student loan and I think that's because my dad is self-employed. So I got nine grand a year by the government and my friend Sam got three grand for the whole year. So I got three grand a term, she got three grand for the whole year. Sometimes you may not, your student loan may not be able to cover your rent, but luckily mine did. And I still had like a grand 500 left over, which was banging for me. But for those of you that your student loan doesn't cover your rent, you need to balance your money well. And one thing that I would say, <laughs> this is such big advice for me, and a lot of my flatmates did do this as well, but I got a part-time job throughout uni. Throughout uni, I always had a part-time job, and this would literally be like working two nights a week. And if you're a uni student, this will benefit you massively. Like, I know some people are like, oh yeah, but stress of work, your dissertation, your other work, your other projects, all that. I know it's stressful, but realistically, if you're not going out on a Saturday night, are you realistically going to be sitting down doing your work all the time? Like, that's just something you need to think about because 
I, in first year, I would sit there and be like, oh, do I need a part-time job because I'm stressed out with projects? And then I realised that I wouldn't actually be doing my projects anyway. I'd literally just be sitting there watching TV. So I got a part-time job in first year, got a part-time job in second year and got a part-time job in third year. And you know what? It massively helped because I was still getting around like, 500 pounds a month just for part-time work and it does help you because that can be money towards nights out that can be money towards like going out with your mates towards anything really like your coffee i bought so much coffee and honestly it puts money towards my coffee obviously this is not for everyone if you're someone that gets very stressed very easily very anxious anything like that don't get a part-time job because that will just put more stress on you and you don't need that, especially with uni stuff. Like, that will just make it worse. So, for stuff like that, don't. But for someone like me who's always worrying about money, who's always spending money on coffee, on, like, treats or anything like that, it is so good. And you know what? Like, two nights a week, I'd work a Tuesday and a Saturday. So, it's so easy to do and such a good tip to have. But yeah, I think that's all my tips for uni. If you guys have any questions or you want to message me about uni or anything like that, I think I'm going to do a video on what to pack for uni for you freshers. So if you would, then stay tuned. But make sure you give a like and a subscribe. And I will be doing more videos. I'm definitely going to do a video something else on uni because I know uni can be really stressful. You guys will see a massive change in my uni like experience like from when I first did my video in first year to now. It is such a big change and I'm so grateful for having this experience. I'm so grateful for my besties. Like I could not have asked for a better group of girls. Honestly they are the best group of girls ever. So thanks guys for watching my video. Hope you like it and I will be posting more. I better finish packing because honestly I actually need to move out of this house. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs>